let's 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 move on because I can, can take you somewhere. Anna, 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 Anna. Um, how do you how do you navigate growing up with with with? I, I, I want to put this in a respectable manner. There is that where people uh, talked for you about who you are. And then there's the four years later, Abongwe, who has reached this self-acceptance point. How are you navigating now after this self-acceptance and boldness? How are you navigating who you are right now? Especially now that you live alone in the big bad Joburg. Big <laughs> bad Joburg. <laughs> How am I navigating it? Yeah. I don't think I understand the question. How are you navigating being who you are now that you are alone and you are not restricted to being under the shelter of the, the famous family? I think I still abide by the rules yeah. that I've always been taught. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, even though I'm alone at Joburg, I'm here to learn. I'm here to get a degree get I'm not here <laughs> to I'm not here to live life the way I want it's a or, or, <laughs> I'm not here to play games yeah. so I feel like I still even though I'm not directly under the hands of my parents mm -hmm. I still live under the hands sure. of them the covering yes yeah so I I think I still took the rules and everything else I had been taught Is it in yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and moved on with them because yeah. yeah. they're gonna take me further in life and once i start disobeying those rules i feel like there's going to be a switch in yeah. my life and yeah. things won't same as being humble and respecting other people sure. so if i start taking that and disrespecting that the thing that i have been taught i feel like my life will start taking another turn and things won't go well for me when's the last time you cried and what were you crying about the last time <laughs> <laughs> Last time I cried. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Last time I cried, I don't know. You do know exactly. <laughs> and then they don't join your parents in your own. Don't join I won't. I won't. I don't know. You don't know. Do you cry? Um, I do cry. Yeah? I do cry. And, and does crying make you feel like you just released the burden? Yes, I think crying helps. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it, I it helps. You're like, ah, yeah. just run for crying. No, I, hey guys, I do cry. Like, <laughs> like, well, like straight after crying, you feel like you know, I am fine now. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you just, move. yeah, you just yeah. super strong. You're like, ah, yeah, pinung morning. <laughs> you're moving on with your life. Yeah, and thank you for confirming that it was about a relationship. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Hmm. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> I was like, go to Westfoot. No. Hi, Bo. Hi, Bo. Hi, my dad. <laughs> yeah, Joe Berg ish. Eh, the dating pool. <laughs> Very messy. <laughs> Use one hour. <laughs> Use one hour. Who you pray to? Who do I pray to? Mm. I pray to you, God. Yeah, and what do you, uh, and what what is the most consistent prayer that you pray to God? Uh, protection. Protection. Yeah. I think I pray for protection over my family. Yeah, and me here the most, and guidance, and gratitude. Gratitude. Yeah. 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 I think those are the three things I never leave out. Do you, as you're growing older, do you? see the importance of a personal relationship with God versus a relationship that you taught by Unday and you like the corporate prayers. Yes, ne? I do. I do. Uh, I feel like you need to have your own relationship with God mm -hmm. instead of the one that you have been taught by your parents or whoever. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, it's your journey, mm -hmm. not your parents. Yeah. It's, it's just you and God. Yeah. It's yeah. not your parents and whoever else's journey it's yours did you ever feel were you ever at a point where in your spiritual journey with god where you felt not good enough to be talking to god hmm. i know i have absolutely where i felt like certain things i've done or how i am especially because both you and i are zulu we grow up in a traditional sense where 
we still very at the bottom of our self-acceptance. We feel like God doesn't want this. This is wrong. I'm a sinner. I'm this. Instead of understanding that I am created by God like this, this is who I am. And who I am is exactly how God wanted me to be. So, so I say I have yes to your question. Yeah. 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 Because of those reasons you ne, just dated. Yeah. Ne, yeah. I, I, I fully relate. Because you... There is God, the relationship, and there is God that is presented by people that they think you should fit into. But when you get older, it's so freeing because God, the relationships, is so free. God, the God of grace that we pray to, is so comforting and protecting and loving. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. How are you... I want to go back to the fame thing. How do you think, are, what are your plans for the fame? Because there are a lot of people, it's like, oh, oh, we're famous. Let's get drunk and party and be rock stars. <laughs> what are your plans for the numbers? Because numbers means influence. My plans for yeah. fame. Um, I don't think it's something that I've actually thought and dwelled on. Because mm -hmm. I feel like right now, I just have to get, the small things in my life straight. Okay. So, such as getting my degrees. Yeah. I'm not focusing more on the fame. Sure. Instead, I'm focusing on getting my life together. together. Yeah. 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 Instead of the fame. So, yeah, I think I focus more on getting my life together. And the fame is something that I put at the back of my head. So, it doesn't actually consume mess with Yeah, it doesn't yeah. consume me. Because yeah. there's a lot of things. I'm still young. There's a lot of things that I need to co accomplish in my life. Sure. On your own. Yes, on yeah. my own. Yeah. So that's why also I have to have my own things instead of depending on the fame. Because sometimes fame doesn't work for you. Ish. <laughs> it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't work for you. And sometimes it destroys you. See, so yeah. if you let it consume you, then it might destroy you. So... How do you how do you how do you navigate um, not getting involved in your father's marriages? Hey, how do I navigate that? I just don't. Because they are they are kids who will have problems with that father's wife because of this. Like, who's fucking Do you get what I mean? I get that. So I don't need to navigate anything yeah. around that. Because I know, Uguti, in the Bazavanda Batala, I'm getting so. So no one got figure manch, bang and a bazo kunuba, and a subang a ham, and shonale. Because I'm in doubt. Even if I do hear it, it's none of my like, business. Whoa, like, whoa, okay. Sky. <laughs> <laughs> None of my business. I get now because I feel like why am I even getting myself involved? Sure, it's none of my business. Mm. I'm young. It's not something I should even be listening to or letting consume me. Yeah, it's not my own problem, son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, who are you closest to? Are they siblings? My siblings. I'm closest to Luant. Really? My brother. Yeah. Twins. You guys are twins. You can see it. We're not. <laughs> you, you, there's a twins thing going on there. You look alike. Um, you seem like you relate on many levels. Ne? You both seem reserved. Mm. Roger seems reserved. Yes. Very quiet. <laughs> uh, I think that's where you guys relate. Uh, do you hang out a lot and speak a lot? We do hang out a lot. We grew up under the same roof. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah we Naturally. do. Hang, yeah, so... From the same mother, same roof, same everything. Yeah. So, of course, we hang out a lot. Is he one person you can talk to about anything? Um, Yeah, I think he is. Ne? Yeah. And just you that... think with him too, he he can tell you anything and he knows. <laughs> it's going to be protected. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think he can tell me anything. He does tell me anything. Yeah. 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 Which is good because... As you're saying, in, in how big the family is, there still needs to be that certain close-knit thing that you have where you feel protected because because there's so many of you, you can feel a bit swallowed mm. in the big, deep ocean um, that comes with you guys being so super famous. Do you, uh, do you realize how famous you are? Or you've 
actively removed yourself from it? Do I realize how famous I am? As a family. Yeah, I, I, I can see. I can see it. Like... It, Especially it, when, it, I, when it, I came to Joburg, I was it, like, it's okay. It's quite a <laughs> weird thing, right? Like, okay. Because, like, at home, I think people know us, ne? They know us. But it's not that hectic. Yeah. You know? But then when I came to Joburg, I was like, First whoa. Day of <laughs> like, whoa. <laughs> Even in Joburg? <laughs> I was like, I will not Lana. Yeah. Yeah, well, so now I know how famous or how big the family actually yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. And now, you came to Joburg last year? Um, last year. Last year. Last year. So that was your first year. Yeah. Now you're going into second year, which means there'll be new first years on campus. It's going to start all over again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As it's like all over again, it's like people are like, oh. Yeah. yeah, and uh, and you see, look, you can you can see people looking at you. At, when I go some, you're just walking. We are with it. You shower, you stress, and you're in your phone, and your phone, and your phone, and now, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> with those TikToks where they're hiding their yeah, own. crazy. It's actually crazy because people in your age group nowadays are obsessed with TikTok. I, like I'm sure you see the corner of that person is recording me. Mm. That's insane, guys. You're just at school and somebody's randomly recording you. Yeah. <laughs> You're, but you get used to it. You get used you to it. You actually get nah? used to it, yeah. Oof. At this point, you can even pop a smile. Nah? It's like, yeah, come on now. Sure. <laughs> um, we, we're nearing the end of our conversation. Uh, would you have your life any different to how it is? Um, Sorry, I guess Siri. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, ne? No. I think it was... A great experience and I mean I wouldn't I wouldn't want to change it you wouldn't want to I wouldn't it. want to change it yeah. Even, like I feel like everything I've went through is for a reason and there's a purpose in everything so I feel like it has made me a better person I've mm -hmm. grown and I've seen the world in a different way whereas yeah I just wouldn't change it you won't say you you regret growing up on camera no yeah. No, I think I think it's a wonderful experience. True. It's a once Wonder in a lifetime. Yes. Not many people can ever say that. Exactly. So you can't so, do the it says, ah, I me a letter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I just have to it's here. There's nothing I can do about it. And I just have to embrace it. Yeah. 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 Um you, growing up on camera, you saying you love that. Um and you spoke about many painful things that you've gone through deep. What's the most painful thing you've gone through in your life? I feel like it was the one where I didn't tell my own story. Okay. Yeah, because I feel like that was an important part of my life. Uh, of your identity. Yeah, of yeah. who I am. Yeah. And I think it was something that I should have been given a chance. An to, opportunity. Yeah, to, to do. do. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. and I feel like also my parents were like, how? Because they were hearing it from other people. And I, I feel like they would have appreciated too hearing it from me yeah. what's the one thing you know for sure that you absolutely believe in and you like this particular thing in life i know for sure um i'd say that my parents love me oh, yeah. 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 yeah 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 that you feel loved consistently and you know that they will just always be there for you yeah not many people can say that you are blessed, um, you are privileged, and I hope as you continue in this journey where your life, in some way or another, is a microscope to other people, there are people who are envious of your life, um, there are people who will come to you and will not have the right intentions of why they want to get close to you. Um, I hope you remain grounded because you, you're very grounded. You Thank remain you. humble, you remain respectful to people, you remain um, the person who never loses their own self-worth and gets consumed by the glitz, the, the, la the, the lights, the cameras. Um, because that is a lesson to many people. Uh, you watch it every day. People are famous today and gone tomorrow. Mm. Piano artists especially. Yeah. Famous today, gone tomorrow. Stars, hip-hop stars, famous today, taken by drugs tomorrow, jail tomorrow. I hope you remain, you continue to remain grounded and you remain, I don't. Just, I know this is a big word, you remain the example that you are to people in your age group. You might not try to be an example, but trust me, you are. Because being grounded 
being humble, being kind may not be in fashion, but it creates a better world for all of us. So at Engineer Your Life, we'd like to thank you for coming to the show. And you are most welcome to come back anytime. <laughs> Whether you're releasing music or you're releasing other new ventures in your life, we are just, I am just a phone call away. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. I'll see you guys next week on the next episode. Introducing the epitome of luxury living, Galu Luxury Villas and Suites, your private sanctuary of opulence and elegance. Nestled amongst the lush, sun-kissed landscapes of Durban, KwaZulu-Natal, this Galu Luxury Villa is a paradise of tranquility, offering breathtaking panoramic views of the neighborhood. Step into a world of refined luxury where every detail has been meticulously crafted to create an atmosphere of sophistication and comfort. This villa is kept within a gated and secure property for your peace of mind. The Kalu Villa is available for both short-term and long-term stays, making it the ideal location for your next vacation or special event. This villa boasts spacious living areas and floor-to-ceiling windows that flood the interior with natural light, making you feel at one with the surrounding beauty paired with multiple terraces, an outdoor lounge and a dining area. Live the dream, make memories and indulge in the life you deserve. Contact us today to book your stay or to learn more about this exquisite property. Your oasis of opulence awaits.